tape on my tape. Honestly, sis, they just want a pet Aborigine. Is that who you are? This legislation has the backing of the traditional owners. We might as well give up the election right now. They've only had title for 10 years and they trusted you. So, Deb, um, season one was your first lead on Australian television. What the f was that about? <laughs> oh, bloody time! No. <laughs> You were so nervous. Oh, I think I was really nervous. I think I had a lot of doubts about whether I could do this role. You know, I've often sort of been in supporting roles, which I really love, but to sort of helm a, a story arc like this and to be um, a lead actress was quite daunting for me. So how do you reckon you did? Because you seem very in control lady this year. Wow, this is fabulous. What a great character, what a great premise, the idea of, someone going into an establishment that really isn't set up for them to succeed and not only she goes in and succeeds, she knocks the doors off its hinges and blows the place up. <laughs> so many things happened to Alex. She lost her mother, she lost the trust of her community, the love of her life, her sweetheart is in prison. She brought down a prime minister, completely reconfigured the government from the moderate to the right wing. What more could happen to Alex this year do you think that was not explored? Like, we just keep throwing bad stuff at you, don't we? Just her spine is, is just it's made of steel because um, I know as Deb, like, I think I'd just throw my hands up in the air and run the other way in terms of what she has, what she was dealing with in season one and now even in season two, which, um, you know, becomes the stakes are, uh, are much higher in season two. A friend of mine back home just killed himself. Apparently the bank was going to take his farm away. What are we doing for people like him? She, you know, she's unhinged, she's flawed, she takes no BS. It's sort of the woman I would love to be, <laughs> to be honest. What are you most excited about um, for Alex to show in season two? We're seeing the effects of that and Alex's actions and, um, and that sort of encroaches not just, you know, her sort of world, but it's expanded within the world of her family and her community. Um, and so the fallout of all that. So in season one, we kind of see Alex's ability, as we say, to blow stuff up. She's burning bridges. So season two, is Alex ever gonna be more of a bridge builder or is she a blower up -er? There is a, almost a breaking point for Alex in this season. It'll be up to the people of Freeman to decide if they want me. No one else, which um, was really quite, uh, is really, interesting to see to the point where she's questioning if she can do this. Um, so, you know, the writers have pushed Alex to, to that point. Um, but um, what we find is Alex picking herself up again, which she does really well, and continuing that fight.